Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some more Assetto Corsa. And the SP mod got released on this game. Thank you to the creators of the SP mod. I will put every single creator into the description, so go give them some some love if you know about them. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to the creators for creating this. Um, the mod is absolutely crazy. It's only a um, beta version right now, uh, mainly because uh, I think it was loads of Russian people, they leaked cars, um, so they just thought why not let's just uh, release a beta just so, or beta or however you want to say it, um, just so, you know, like, they're releasing the cars before like the Russians do, like they're leaking them, which is kind of annoying I suppose if you're trying to keep this under wraps. Um, so I'm going to go in with the 370Z, um, it looks absolutely beautiful, um, I went into orange, seeing as I have an orange car in real life. I own an orange 350Z so I thought why not start with a 370, uh, it's quite similar you know, quite similar so, you know what, let's just jump straight into this, I don't know how it's going to feel straight off, might have to adjust the force feedback and a little changes here and there, uh, but in terms of the drift tune, I am just going to quite literally just stick with the defaults for now and just see how it goes, um, maybe next episode we can go deeper into the tuning, uh, trying to get the car feeling better for us. Um, but for this episode, I'm just going to go, just trying to get the feels of this mod. Um, obviously, it's going to be different physics and stuff, so yeah, we got to see how this goes. So let's jump into the driving right now. Okay, so this car looks absolutely beautiful inside. Generally, that is very, very beautiful. Uh, so we're going to be running on the Proving Ground map. Mainly uh, track, sorry, not map. When we're playing COD. Uh, but yeah, I'm using this track mainly because I know this track. Um, I know the certain spots where I should be doing stuff. Okay, I've got to down this force feedback incredibly a lot. So I'll be back uh, when I've got a little bit better with this mod, you know. Okay, so that feels a lot better in the wheel now. Now i just got to get used to the physics. And trying out my first drift, it felt pretty good, you know. I just got to get used to it, but you know what? First corner wasn't too bad, you know. We managed to hold it there a little bit. Like I said, it's all about getting used to it. Um, obviously, this is different physics from normal, um, as you could probably expect, you know. Let me just down the volume quickly, um, because basically, yeah, I didn't know if you could hear me or not. <laughs> Okay, that felt really good sideways. Transition. Transition felt good. Oh yeah, baby. Gear 3, do this for me. Okay. A little bit sloppy, but... Like I said, it's all about getting used to it. Oh my god, this is crazy. Generally, that was crazy. This car is insane. Wow, I can't wait to use other cars on this mod, man. I generally cannot wait. Look at that. That was crazy angle. I've got to be so delicate on the throttle. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to get some getting used to this, man. We're gonna have to get used to this a lot. Feels very good, though. Shout out to all the creators of this mod, man. This feels very good. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Yeah, that's what we like. Nice smooth drift like that. You can't go wrong, right? Okay, I don't know why I held the handbrake then. It's a pretty fast corner, so... Oh, God. I have gone very wide onto the grass. So let's do a little... Some minor adjustments to the tune. Uh, just trying to help us out, you know. Alright, so gearing. We could... No, nah, it feels okay. The gearing feels okay. Uh, PSI, okay. Um... Should we go down in the rear a tiny bit, just to try and get a little bit more stable in the rear? Because I seem to be losing it on transitions a little bit. Okay, so camber and toe. Um, 
I'm just going to leave it for now. We could come down and camber in the front a tiny bit. Uh, try and get that extra little bit of transition power, a little bit of grip. Uh, diff power and diff coast, we'll leave that for now. Uh, I don't want to dip too far into this, to be honest, because... You know what, we can save that for next episode. This is just all about getting used to it for now. Uh, getting used to the new physics. Um, obviously every car is going to be a little bit different, but... We're going to get used to this 370. And I can see this being one of my favourite cars on this, because already it feels very, very nice, which is... Which is what you want. Okay, it does feel a lot more stable in the rear. And that is a good thing. Oh, it feels really, really weird in the front though. Maybe I kind of unbalanced it a little bit, but I don't think so, because I didn't really do big changes, you know. Generally didn't do big changes, so... Gotta get used to the amount of power in this as well. There's so much power in this. Oh my god, what am I doing right now? Okay. <laughs> let's let's try and drive right now. Oh god, I didn't even see that barrier. It's so small, like generally did not see that. Okay. I think kind of uh lowering those tire pressures really making me struggle in terms of getting the rear actually to come out. Um, so let's, as soon as we down the tire pressures, why don't we up the negative camber in the rear? Uh, try and balance it in that way. So let's just up the camber in the rear a tiny bit. And see how that goes. Like I said, I wasn't going to do tuning this episode, but if you want to make the car feel better, why not, right? So yeah, this is, this looks very nice in this cockpit though. Oh my god, that angle though. Oh my god, I generally can't get used to this, but you know, first 10 minutes of using this of using this mod, I'm happy with the way I'm kind of drifting with it, you know. We're getting some nice corners out of it, kind of like this corner maybe, if we make it the whole way around, yep. So we're getting some nice corners out of it. Uh, but then we get in other corners like that, like, what, what, the, what the fuck was that? I need to change the uh, brake pressure quickly, um, because that's really messed me up right now. And here's, here's a view of the car coming onto the track. It's a very, very attractive car. Oh my god. I hate playing in this view. It's so weird. I just don't... I can't get used to that at all. Uh, so let's jump back into the cockpit view. Let's try and get this slide in now. Okay, that's a better first corner. That's probably my best first corner so far. Oh, I've lost it there. Gears are a bit too short, maybe? Felt it then. Uh, but we made it. We made it. So that's fine. No! Oh! <laughs> I went on the throttle a bit too early. I would have made it round that corner perfectly. Generally, I would have made it round that corner perfectly then. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Like, this car is happy sideways, so as long as I've got it sideways, it's good. I've got to calm down with the transitions a bit, though, because they're coming a little bit intense, you know. I'm trying to go into these massive transitions, I just need to make them a, just smooth transitions for now. And I'm trying to do these intense transitions. It just ain't going to work, you know. Yeah, that is very, very, very short gearing for that bit. Which kind of puts me out of line for this corner because I need that extra little bit of power. So next time we go around then, gear four, that'll be our friend. That will be our friend, bro. Oh, whoa. Where did that bump come from? That bump absolutely threw, threw us off then. But yeah, I have to say, this feels very nice. A very, very nice car. 
they've made right here. So yeah, I'm getting a lot, lot, lot of oversteer right now. Um, so I've got a feeling that I've got to grip up the rear a little bit more. Oh wow, that transition though. <laughs> 360 entry, I'm sending that in. Alright, anyway. I've got to be a lot more delicate on the throttle. I'm kind of going full throttle around here and it's just kind of not its not coming out very well. So let me jump into Twits, make a few little tweaks and see what's going on. Okay, a few little changes done. Um, hopefully they will benefit me, not hinder me, but you know, still trying to learn the physics here so it might hinder me, you never know. <laughs> um, so I've made the gear in longer um, because obviously I was struggling on that corner back there. Um, that is further around the track, uh, but in doing that, it's kind of it's making me struggle here. It's generally bogging down. My car is generally bogging down. It's not able to spin up the tires. So, like all in all, it's probably better for this section here. But in terms of the track, it's probably not the best because, uh, as you can probably tell there, like it was bogging down. Yeah, I've got to change the gear in. Right, second time lucky let's try it with this little change of gearing right here I didn't change the final driver I just changed quite literally gear 3 and that was it so hopefully um, just shorting up that gear a tiny tiny small amount will help us here in terms of not bogging down um, hopefully anyway so yeah it feels a lot more stable oh my god uh, basically I just dropped the tire pressure a little bit more in the rear and I up the tire pressures in the front because I don't know, the front just felt like it was a little bit too grippy. It's getting a lot of oversteer, so I'm just trying to counter that um, just with tire pressures for now. Uh, we can go deeper into it uh, next episode, uh, which could be tomorrow. Uh, if this gets, let's say, if this gets 20 likes, uh, we'll bring out the second episode tomorrow for you guys. You know, I like, I like this. I generally like Assetto Corsa. It's an amazing, amazing simulator. And bringing out this SP mod is just brought it into brought it into you know even better lands you know perfect um, so yeah we're slowly clocking onto these physics now slowly getting sideways a little bit more often so let's go up into gear four here and then we could go down to gear three again that worked out a lot better there oh yes look at that drifting oh yeah baby look at them watching me Okay, they watched me spin out. How many times have I spun on this corner? It always seems to be this corner. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, what has happened? Yeah, let's give this. Let's give this one more. Oh, there's a really bad bump on the inside of that corner there. Uh, let's give this one more lap. Um, Cause we're we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. Generally feeling a very nice car right now. Um, so I'm going to be saving the tune as what I've got. As to what I've got right now, should I say? I was going to say some language that didn't even, didn't even English, bro. Um, but this car is feeling very nice. Obviously, I still got to get some used, to getting used to it. Um, seeing as I've only been playing for 20 minutes, um, that is a problem with kind of doing like a series on stuff like this because you only have the time that you're doing a video to kind of drive this car. If you know what I mean, if it makes any sense. Like I'm not. I probably will drive this like off videos. Why am I always spinning out there? I didn't even have big angle. That was probably the most like least angle I had around the whole track. But yeah, I still spun out. Is it a little bit slipperier back there or something? Like, what is going on? So, anyway, that is that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Really, really fun to do that actually. That was really, really fun. So, thank you very much for coming out to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If this gets 20. There'll be another one out tomorrow. A set of courses is boss. SP mod has made it boss. Thank you to the creators. I'll see you guys next time.